SEMA 2009. The cars, the parts, the experience. Nobody brings it to you like Power TV. As usual, the SEMA show in Las Vegas is a treasure trove of new and fancy gear, and Cobb Cams has got plenty on display, and that's why we're here with David Page to let us know what's new in the fast department. First of all, let's talk about the manifold. Well, this year we're releasing two new manifolds. We've got the LSXR and the LSXRT. The LSXR is a new design based off the success of our LSX manifold that works with LS3 and LS7 cylinder head configurations. One of the new features we've added is removable individual runners for each cylinder. This allows easy porting or modification or possibly in the future trying different runners to see which makes the best power. Both of these manifolds share a 102 millimeter inlet so they can use up to 102 millimeter throttle body but the great thing is they also accept smaller throttle bodies such as a factory drive-by-wire throttle body our 90 millimeter, our 92 millimeter, and all the way up to our new 102 big mouth throttle body. One of the unique things about the LSXRT manifold is it's designed for a truck. The main difference is the height of the manifold was raised as a result of the increased space offered in the truck application. And we were really surprised that the power gains were more than we've ever seen with a manifold of this design. The extra height allowed us to use a more straight shot runner design to the port, and that gave great power gains with absolutely no loss of torque. Also this year on display, you've got the new crank trigger. This year, FAST has introduced a new crank trigger, and we're getting away from the older magnets in the wheel and going to a magnetic pickup. That allows us to use a very lightweight, thin, and strong steel trigger wheel that reduces the need to space out all your accessories, your blower drive, etc by going to a crank trigger. Makes it a lot more convenient. It's a steady, strong signal. We use proven OEM technology on the pickup, and it works with carbureted applications, as, and it also works very well with our EFI systems. And finally on display this year, you've got the new standalone XIM. The new standalone XIM is using the proven technology of the XIM that we've used for years on our fuel-injected distributorless applications. And the new technology is you can use it now with a carbureted system on a distributorless engine such as the GM LS1, LS2, LS3, LS7 engines, the modular Ford engines, as well as the new Chrysler Hemi engines that are really popular. Many people want the, the new technology of those engines, but they like their carburetor. So the standalone XIM makes that happen. Excellent. If you don't make it to the show, then the internet is the best place to find out all about this. Just go to www.fuelairspark.com.